I'm creating, directing, acting in, and editing a 10-part film entirely alone. If that sounds like a bad idea, it's because it probably is one. So I've actually already made two parts of this that can be seen on my YouTube channel now. Now they're not very good from a lighting, sound design, color grading perspective, but I like the story so far. It started Christmas time of last year, so that's pretty much been the theme thus far. And this of course would help explain why I still have my tree this year on February 22nd. I'm gonna use it, I swear. So there are three reasons that I'm doing this and three rules that I have to follow the entire time. So reason number one is creating for myself. I've been acting for almost eight years now. And honestly, I can say it's gone pretty well. But if you've heard anything about the industry lately, let me show you. It's not doing great. That coupled with COVID, the writer's strike, the actor's strike, all of these things have created kind of a less than ideal scenario opportunity wise. I'm not exactly the sit around and wait type. So I thought I would just start creating things on my own. Reason number two sort of piggybacks off of number one, and that is to become a better storyteller through the directing, through the acting, all of these things combined are gonna help me be a better storyteller. Learning how to do all of these really well will always give me the opportunity to create for myself. And reason number three is to become a better editor. Through editing, I wanna know how to really properly shape my stories and the styles and the emotions all through color grading and how to cut and sound design and all of these things. Before getting into filmmaking, I didn't realize how important they were and now I understand that that's like 80% of it if you have really amazing editing and sound design and color grading you can create the tone and tell the story in a way that you're trying to accurately so this is something that I want to get really good at all in all this is just going to allow me to be less dependent on opportunities from other people and to give me the ability to just always be able to create on my own pretty much the rest of my life I had a paint on my shirt? When did that happen? Anyway, that all being said, I still have these three rules that I want to follow during this entire 10 part film process with number one being plan one part at a time. What I mean by that is instead of creating a full long story and then just chopping that up into 10 pieces, I want to challenge myself by going into each one completely fresh. So when I'm creating one, I'm not thinking about how I could follow that up with the next part. I just want to dive into whatever's in front of me, what time of year it is, where I'm located, anything that kind of goes on in my head. But I like that about it because it's kind of challenging and I have to really be creative with the plot and where things are going to go. And I don't want to put too much pressure on the total end story. I just want to look at basically one one part at a time to have to go into each one completely fresh. Rule number two is doing it all alone. So that means everything, editing, color grading, sound design, creation of the story. Most of the acting is just gonna be me. There's not gonna be anybody else. Why are you choosing to do these short films entirely alone? Are you a loner? Are you worried about people getting sick of your face? That thought had not crossed my mind until just now. So I may occasionally bring people in just to try to keep it interesting, but for the most part, this is, has to be done entirely alone. That's part of the challenge. That's part of the development and the growth is to learn how to do everything by myself. I didn't really have a rule number three. I guess just have fun. I think this is gonna be a fun, challenging process. I get kind of, kind of, I get very flustered when trying to do this because it seems like I'm constantly running into a new hurdle or a new problem or some device that I've always used before that never had an issue. Suddenly there's a problem or there's some issue in the editing process and as frustrating and as hard as that can be, every time I've been able to kind of figure that out and it's led to sort of a breakthrough. And right now for me, lighting and framing shots and stuff, it some reason is a challenge. I, I have the least amount of practice with both of those things. And a good example of that, the first two of these were done with completely natural light. I'm not exaggerating. There's not a single studio light, I don't think, in either one of them. And that led to this really harsh outdoor. I wasn't even really aware how important like diffusion and stuff was. They're all done with natural light. They're all done with just one shotgun mic kind of somewhere in the scene. There's almost no sound design done in any of them. So I've been learning more and more about all of this over the past few months. It's a lot to learn, especially for one person. It's just very clear in those first couple that I didn't know anything about most of those things and it wasn't very good at color grading or anything like that. Those were both done entirely on Premiere Pro and I feel like I've really fallen in love with DaVinci and so everything I do now is DaVinci Resolve. It seems that that was a big level up for me on the editing front. So basically at the end of the day, I wanna see over a 10 part series, eventually I'll put them all together and it'll be cool to see that each section should have some kind of improvement going all the way to the end. And so I'm hoping from the beginning, which is very amateur looking to the very end, I'm hoping it's gonna look very professional and 
you know, just a, a quality film. And so I'm, I'm just really excited for the challenge and really excited to see sort of the development over probably, again, what's going to be several years, I would imagine. So if you're an aspiring filmmaker like me or you just want to follow along to see the progression and the development, uh, now's a good time to sub to do that. Outside of posting the films themselves, I'll probably do a recap after each one at sort of what I was trying to improve on. So I'll be breaking down kind of the process in between each film as well. Make sure to follow along and thanks for tuning in to this and wish me luck. I think that might have been old coffee. Ugh.